day to everybody. It's Sunday, and God has given us the privilege again to be able to come and share with you. Father, we thank you today. We exalt your name for this that we are enjoying. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your worship. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Lord, once again, we commit ourselves into your hands. We ask, for oh God, as we speak, speak to our hearts in the name of Jesus. Let somebody be encouraged in Jesus' name. Amen. This is short word. Uh, our intention every now and then, especially speaking on Sunday, especially for those who have time to go to church, especially uh, those who are on social media, for us to be able to reach out to them. Um, so many things happening in the world today, and our ministry has been given the responsibility of being able to uh, come and encourage. Uh, I always tell people I have had my own share of tough time. Uh, this sickness, is it not having money? Is it about uh, food? Is it about protection? Is it about accommodation? Is it about healing? Is it about disease in the body? I've had my own share of it. Is it about upbringing, childhood, which is one of the areas on which I want to focus today for uh, the short time that we have. I want to read some scriptures to you to encourage you. One of the challenge that I see today, and unfortunately, it will get worse if you don't come to terms with this as a child of God. You know, I have one of my daughters that calls me self worth coach because every now and then I, t I tell the person I am not a proud person, but I'm a person that understands self esteem. I'm a, I'm a person that does not have low self esteem. I understand my words. I understand my value. I understand the price I paid to be where I am today. So I will not shortchange it for anything. I will not allow anybody to trample on it. If that's how people define uh, pride, then they are, they are on their own. Because I also know about the scripture that says, uh, God resists the proud. And many other scriptures like that, that God goes against proud people. And I don't want to fall into the category. But understanding my words, having self-esteem, high self-esteem about myself, regardless of who I am. As a matter of fact, let me share this testimony. When I was in secondary school, I was brought back to Lagos. I was in boarding school, and I was brought back to Lagos. Now, before I, I, I came back to Lagos, I, from my GSS3 to SS, from my GSS1 to SS3, I was short, I was fat, as in fat. And they gave me a nickname. The nickname they gave me was uh, someone that was, was, uh, who has obesity, as in very fat. But between GS3 and SS1, I just got taller and the rest. So, in my final year in SS2, then, I had to come back to Lagos because of one of those things happened. I had to come back to Lagos. And I was already tall. I was fat before, I was not seen tall. So that and what happened in my boarding school got to me that I have low self esteem about myself, that I can lock myself in a room for a lot, a long time, have self pity, you no know, complaining, and all that and all that about myself not knowing what to do until one day in Lagos there's, there's a place called Antony, Antony village while I was going to school then I saw a boy in my front that was more thinner than me taller than me that was the last time I stopped complaining about myself now that is just part of it now understand as a child of God what has God said concerning you goes a long way. If you are a Christian, what you should hold on to should be God's word. And let me read some of I will, so I will read some some scriptures to let you know God loves you. To let you know, no matter how thin 
uh, short, fat, black, yellow you are, you are loved. Sons of Solomon, um, chapter 4, verse 7, you are altogether beautiful, my love. There is no flaw in you. Psalm 139, verse 13 to 14, for you are formed my inward part. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows it very well. Now there was a testimony concerning King David in 1 Samuel 16, 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his status, statue, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as men sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. That's concerning David. 1 Peter 3, 3 to 4. These are popular scriptures that you know, but you need to use them to encourage yourself, to remind yourself that this is who God has made it to be. And you should be happy about it because that will help you to have self-esteem about yourself. That will help you to have self-worth, regardless of how short you are, regardless of how black you are, regardless of how maybe you have big hair. hair. No, sometimes people, physical things, physical things, you no, know, people get a lot of nonsense, and then they, the devil suggests these things in their head, and they begin to misbehave, thinking it's about that. Don't forget the scripture I read just now, 1 Samuel 16, 7. It says, God looks at the heart. I read another scripture, it says, we are, we are wonderfully and fearfully made. If you have not, if you don't, don't come to terms with that, the devil will just make a, keep making a mess of you. Now, 1 Peter 3, verse 3 to, uh, to 4. Do not let your adorning be external. The braiding of air and putting on the gold jewelry. Now, I'm not talking about the doctrine people have called that from this place. What the long and short of this story, the definition of this story is talking about your heart. Your heart, your heart, your heart, your heart. The beauty of your heart. Because that is what God looks at. Joshua 1, verse 7. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be frightening. Joshua 1 verse 7, verse 9. So be encouraged today, regardless of, listen, no matter how, excuse me, no matter the picture, the world is painting, if you are a studier of God's word, and I, like I said from the beginning, things do not get better for everybody. But those that know their God, Bible says, will stand firm and do exploit. So the, the knowing there is what has God's word said, that is what will boost your you up, remove fear, remove insecurity, remove, do you know, even in marriage today, people have low self-esteem, maybe the husband towards the wife or the wife towards the husband. Have I not commanded to be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened, do not be destroyed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Because you are precious in my eyes and honored, I love you. I give men in return for you, peoples in exchange for your life. Isaiah 43 verse 4. I didn't write the scripture. These are the scriptures, even when things are tough for me, these are the scriptures I encourage myself every day. I challenge myself with those words. The popular scripture also, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for, we for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. He's speaking about you. So regardless of what is happening to you, I don't want to bore you with what the world is doing, how people, how the world is not celebrating foster, how the world is not celebrating those that uh, that that uh, that that fraud people, those that use uh, even charm to fraud people, do a lot of things, prostitution, committing sin, and they, they celebrate them down now. You know, somebody was saying, asking, asking a question, 
day before yesterday, in one of the one of the shows I was watching, and I said I don't, they don't even understand they were celebrity again, and they thought that being a celebrity means that there are things that have achieved, that their results, their attitude, character, your behavior patterns, not the cars you are driving, not the money you are spending. So whatever the world is projecting, it is not with the word of God. What has God said concerning you should be what you should hold on to. Jeremiah, uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. them. Male and female, he created them. Imagine you are created in God's image. So there's, regardless of how you are, God decided to make you that way. So uh, you are not an accident. That you need to get to understand. You are not an accident. Let me read two scriptures and I will call it a day with you. Now what I'm sharing with you is to encourage you that regardless of what is happening to you right now, you dare not have low, low self-esteem about yourself. You dare not have self-pity about yourself. On the 28th of January this year, I did some trading and all everything I have went to it. As in everything I have. My my world came down as in I was asking myself, what what how how do we how do we how do we how do we? It calls from here, calls from here, death. I don't know what you are going through right now. You have been laid off from your jobs. I don't know what you are going through right now. You are in pain. I don't know what you are going through. You have, you have issues. I don't know what you are going through. You no, know, you don't even have a clue the solution. These scriptures I'm sharing with you is to help to boost you up that regardless of what you are going through, you are not an accident. Yes, you have made mistakes. Yes, there are things that you didn't plan for happened. But God have your back always. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Say, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared and beforehand that we should walk in them. Luke 12, verse 7. Why? Even the heirs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, for you are more valuable than sparrow. You are more valuable. And the popular one that always, that, let me use my pidgin English, that always torturing me very well, is in 1 Peter 2, verse 9. It says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I am not just any other person. As I some people see me dressed fine, they say, and, and, and they, are, they are wondering how he has money. I say, it is not about the money. It's about having, I have an understanding about who God has called me to be. I am not an ordinary person. As a matter of fact, I tell, tell people I am not a normal person. I am above normal. So the things I do are not normal. It's always above normal because I am a chosen race. I am a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. I am a people for God's possession to proclaim, to show forth God. That is who God has called you to be. And that's why you need to have understanding about these things. About these things. God loves you so much. God loves you so much. So, as you go in this week, go with this understanding that you are loved, you are cherished, no matter what you are going through. This week you are blessed. This week you are lifted in the name of Jesus. Please, this is a short word with Prophet Debola and all. I will encourage you to share this content because a lot of people are going through terrible, terrible things and they need your help. They need our help. So share the content and whichever you can help people, please help. There's a yoga song that's, that, that, that says, anyone that you can help, which is scriptural, say, is your neighbor. It's your neighbor. 
because this is a time whereby you need to show love to people, not be a, 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 a slave master. You know this person has this need and you refuse to help that person. Then you are not a child of God. So as you go in this week, please go with this understanding in Jesus' name. Please join me again next week. Join me tomorrow again. And God bless you in the name of Jesus. Shalom. Thank you.